today's video, we're going to be painting this kitchen. Now, trust me, it's absolutely filthy. Uh, it's not been touched for about four or five years. And uh, needless to say, with any kitchen, the walls and ceilings are covered in a, a thin film of grease and nicotine and all things nice. Right, so, um, you can see the walls. I'll show you the ceiling. There you go, there's the ceiling. Bit of, bit of filling to do around everywhere as well. There's, uh, there's quite a bit of work in here and the majority of it is basically cleaning the walls and ceiling and, and well, just about everything. Um, window, cabinets, they've all got a slight film of grease on. Um, especially if you're a, a, a bachelor guy on your own, cleaning is not one of them priorities, is it? It's always handy to have a, a good woman for that sort of game. Whilst you do the decorating, a woman goes around and cleaning. But if you haven't got one and you're a bachelor, then cleaning takes last place, doesn't it? Right, so to get these walls and ceilings up to some sort of standard for um, giving a bit of a denib, they want a bit of a rub down and there's a bit of filling. First of all, you've got to clean them. Um, and one of the things you're going to need uh, is some sugar soap, right? Here you go. Look, show you that. Look, sugar soap. Yeah, sugar soap. It's a, a, a form of um, detergent cleaning agent which removes grease, um, nicotine, etc., etc. Yeah. Uh, and any of them cobwebs that are hanging down from your ceiling. Now then. Uh, according to the instructions on this particular, which I bought from Wilkinson's uh, in, in England, if you're, if you're on this side of the pond, um, you've got to add about a third of this uh, solution to um, about four or five litres of warm water. Then you're going to need a sponge, ideally some form of gloves just to stop you your hands being in constant contact with the stuff. Not that it does you any harm, I don't think, but especially if you're a painter, because uh, you're always cleaning your hands with terps and crap, aren't you? But yeah, so what we're gonna do now is mix up this stuff uh, in about four or five liters of warm water, and we're gonna start the long process of wiping the whole kitchen down. But needless to say, don't oversaturate your sponge or absorbent cloth in, in the sugar soap because it's, it's just going to drip everywhere, isn't it? So, yeah, let's get it mixed up. Right then, so I've got about four or five litres of that in. Let's get some of this stuff in. Well, about a third. I'm not going to get too mad because well, I've only got one bottle. I think I'll about doom it to be fair. It's no exact size. Gloves on. Ideally you want a bit of talcum powder or um, I sometimes sometimes use an uh, Insta filler to be fair, just so I can get the gloves on, on and off quite easy. As you can see, they're a bit difficult to get on. Now I'm going to start this section here and just work my way across over there. Can't really see. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of fairy liquid to it. It's 
got to be about one of the worst jobs, isn't it? Doing this. You can see the grease more on the ceiling. So what I'm going to do now is just give you a bit of a close. I'm going to get it all cleaned down and then um, show you the difference. Right, there you go. Plaster works good, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah, there's a difference, look. Easy to clean, just time consuming and boring, but it'll look good when it's all sorted out, won't it? Then we'll proceed with the uh, rubbing it down and filling it. Right then, I'm just going to show you how dirty the water is. Needless to say, I'm going to put it in the drain, not down the sink. There you go, look at that. Disgusting. I'm at the stage now where all the walls and the ceiling have all been degreased even though they don't look like it over there. I've been at it for hours, as you can see. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is just go around and give it all a bit of a rub down. It has been painted in some form of a vinyl silk or kitchen paint or something. It has got a bit of a sheen on it. But uh, needless to say, um, they never get wiped down, do they? So it's pretty pointless, to be fair. But yeah, I'm gonna get a bit of a sun down now. What I'm gonna do now is use a bit of 80 grit scratch sandpaper to you novices. And I'm just gonna go over all the ceiling and all over the walls and just give it a, a, a basically a, a key. Uh, followed by another wipe over with some sugar soap just to take the dust off and any remaining uh, grease. So yeah. Oh, let's crack on with it. Honestly, boring. Hate doing kitchens. Nice circling motion. Right, this is what I've been up to. First of all, he's actually gunned up around the ceiling line because basically the, the ceiling line was a mess. So what I've done, I've corked up all around the ceiling line, left it overnight to dry. Um, whilst I was waiting for that, I started cutting in all the bottom section, around the units, window, etc., just so I could keep going. Um, <clears throat> now I'm just gonna paint the ceiling with a, a standard uh, white emulsion. This is a pretty good one. Yeah, so I'll give the ceiling two coats. Followed by the walls. Now then, when it comes to the walls in a kitchen or a bathroom, um, ideally, you want to be using a paint where you can uh, give it a bit of a wipe down. Uh, so if you do your, your bathroom or your kitchen in a standard emulsion on the wall area, when it comes to wiping it down, you might find that you start getting the emulsion coming off on your rag. So what a lot of people tend to do is go out and buy like a bathroom or a kitchen paint, which is fine, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. You need something that you can just give it a bit of a wipe down, especially around your cooker area, if you're getting the grease on, on the wall. Um, so yeah, there, there is a few options. Uh, one of them to go out and buy a bathroom or kitchen paint. Um, a lot of people use eggshell or a satin finish on the walls. Um, some people can even mix half undercoat and half gloss to get sort of a, like a satin finish. Or you can use what I'm going to use. Basically, I've got a, an oldish tin here of um, 
smooth masonry paint. Now a lot of people don't realise you can, you can use that on, on, on your inside and um, you can use it on your walls and because it dries to like a, a, a semi-shine finish and it, as it's drying it's, it's forming like a skin so it, it is ideal for using on um, kitchens or bathrooms if you don't want to start using that oil based product which a lot of the eggshells and uh, um, bathroom paints are they like, like an oil based masonry paint it's a water based product you can get oil based masonry paint as well but the tin I've got is water based so that's what I'm going to be using on the walls guys um, I did clean all the ceilings and walls down with it with a sugar soap uh, I let it dry I, I, I gave it a bit of a, a, a sand down bit of a key and then I went over the old lot again with clean water and sugar soap so that's the point I've got up to and uh, what I'm going to do now is cut all the ceiling lines in roll the ceilings wait for it to dry and um, give it another coat then crack on with the walls but whilst I'm waiting for the first coat to finish I am going to um, get a first coat on the walls apart from the cutting in round the ceiling line so let's get on with it as you can see I am hitting the wall area so I'm doing it with a 3 inch brush hitting the wall and just smoothing it off pulling a decent coat on You will note I have still got some filling to do, but um, whilst I'm waiting for the white to go off, I'll um, fill that before I do the second coat. All I'm going to do now, whilst I'm waiting for that ceiling to dry off so I can get a second coat, is get a, like, a, a base coat on that wall because it's going to like need at least three coats, do you know what I mean? So I'm just going to get a like first coat all around the walls, uh, but needless to say, without the cutting in done because I still got to do the ceiling off, so let's get on with that. So all I'm using is a six and a half inch Worcester medium pole sleeve and just a small roller. I'm not getting a big roller out for these small areas. And then just go to a coat. No point waiting to finish the ceiling and not doing some else, is it?
Seal has been uh, two coated. Uh, first cutting round ceiling lines and the walls have had two. Still got the filling to do, bits of filling. Um, but I'm just waiting for it to all dry now and then uh, get the filling done and uh, the second coat of the cutting in the ceiling lines. But looking a bit better, isn't it? Happy days. Right then, boys and girls, as you can see, it's all completed now. Um, two coats on the ceiling, there was about three coats on the wall. Well, it wasn't about, there was three coats on the wall. I did actually emulsion, just normal emulsion on the walls, uh, a couple of coats. Finished it off in the masonry paint that you've seen. Um, Get a good clean down, etc. A couple of things I did do after I finished decorating. I channeled out for um, two more double plugs there and there because eventually this is going to have a, a work unit going down there. So the microwave and stuff will go over there. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you'll see the pictures for those. Uh, yeah, and then the. Uh, um, the cooker's going to be taken out, moved to just there, and there'll be a wall going through to the outbuilding at some point. Took me approximately three days um, to complete this. Yeah, I spent a day cleaning it all down and sanding it down. Well, give or take, do you know what I mean? Between two, two and three days. So, yeah, I hope uh, you found the content of this video um, helpful to yourselves, just in case you want to get your kitchen sorted out. Um, if you did, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you get notified every single time a video goes up, which is normally once uh, a, a week at the minute. So yeah, from yours truly, hope you've enjoyed the video, and stay safe guys, stay safe. Good morning. He's back. Out of retirement. Uh, I got loads of t-shirts and pens, but it's not nothing like major. I just had to get my American Express gold card out to buy the beers. <laughs> Coventry. I'm here with Harriet. She's going to tell you a little bit about herself. Oh, I was going to eat. Oh, was you? You can still eat if you want. So tell us about yourself, Harriet. Uh, 